ask the wise angels to guide me always. With insights, wisdom, compassion, genuine authenticity, with deep, deep truths. Thank you for being here. Welcome to Safe Space. This is for the sign of Cancer. Cancer, let's go ahead and start by letting our shoulders down. No pressure, just full on relaxation. I'm assuming that we are on, we are in a comfortable position. Letting our original face settle in and stay here, breathe and breathe deep. We may feel that our breathing is a bit shallow at this time. Taking our time is also best. It almost feels like for our cancer. The light is just going out slowly by and by and the patience is also going out by and by. Just like that candle that just went out. <laughs> I also, it's so funny you guys, I had a candle on top of that candle because the other one went out and it kept going out. Just take that as it resonates. There is also this sense of irritation that's coming up for our cancers. Let's just go ahead and keep up with those deep breaths, cancers, and give ourselves a few minutes to remember who we are for just a minute. And while we are taking these deep breaths, just reflect on the, some of the things that have been happening to you in the last few days. Reflect back to certain situations that you thought you couldn't handle. And let's go back there for just a few minutes while I light up this candle once again. We're gonna try this again. I'm hoping this is gonna work this time. I think it is. Let's just keep up with those deep breaths, Cancer. I'm not going anywhere. There's no need to rush. No need, no pressure here. No need to resist. But just taking our time and really reflecting back to the things that we've been trying really hard on and we just cannot seem to get this off of our mind or off of our out of our system i'm feeling a lot of like this vibe is just like taking you guys to a whole different level and what also this full moon is affecting your mood how is it affecting you at this time emotionally mentally and physically cancer this need to have to defend yourself so much in certain situations with certain people that you are surrounding yourself with, that you're, I'm gonna take these two, that you may not even be surrounding yourself with anymore or just stopped and like stepped away from them or you just had to remove yourself I have the Seven of Swords. This also came up for, for you guys' um, energy when I was pre-shuffling earlier. The Four of Cups. Sense of like hopeless. The Temperance. 
hopeless or helpless justice. It's like things aren't just working in your favor at this time. I feel like there's a lot of resistance too that comes with this cancer. Let's reflect on that as well. We're gonna take our time with this and then we're just gonna go um, follow these cards and then work our way in and pull out more cards. I just wanna work with this row for just a minute here. I would like to also mention that our cancers are the most sensitive human beings, okay? And we can be very sensitive to the world. We can be very sensitive to noise. We can be very, very sensitive to others' reactions, to others' actions. And we sometimes start to question if this is about us. But because we can also be very sensitive to others' reactions, we may sometimes pick up on this and define it and make it our own, if that makes any sense, Cancer. Two of Swords, bottom of the deck. Very defensive, and there's a reason for that, and we'll get to that too, Cancer. It has become a very insensitive society, and this is quite true, Cancer. This is quite, quite true. Let's pay attention here for just a minute. We are being tested here. Every, every day when we get up first thing in the morning, first thing whenever you get up, it's the choices we make every minute of the day that leads us to the situations, that, lead, that leads us to certain cir circumstances, and that also leads us to certain people and interacting with certain people. And what feels to you right now is that the world seems to be very insensitive to you, your actions, your words, and how you show up for the world. And it may seem as though people aren't on your side right now. You think that everyone's up against you, there's lying and cheating and um, just lies on top of lies on top of lies. There's a sense of deceit that you may be feeling coming from the people that you're hanging around with or just coming from the people that you're surrounded with, the people at work perhaps. It's more so having to just like be in a group setting and it just so happens that it just keeps happening to you. Let's keep in mind also that how people are with anybody, how, how people act towards you is not necessarily about you, just also in general and not just for our cancers, but when people react, it's their choice to react in that way and it isn't so entirely more about anybody it's about who they are because how they perceive themselves is exactly how they're going to perceive you and you may not be um you may not agree to their reactions. You may not agree to others' actions towards you, but it doesn't necessarily have to be about you. There is also this sense of confusion in the air that, that may 
make us feel this way. You say, I'm always one to step into a room and do my very best and be the nice person that I am. And if you are an empath, you are very much one to pick up on others very quickly and sometimes get influenced very easily. It's like when I'm being told something and I pick up on it right away and I'm like, I can be very much like, I can be very gullible. And to you, it feels like it just keeps stacking up. People keep telling you certain things and you, you almost always want to believe them and you do. But it also seems like their words and their actions isn't aligning with themselves. And so that too is very confusing to you. And this may be why we are so defensive at this time because it just isn't your style. It doesn't feel like your kind of vibe and it's not one to be trusted, you say. This is why there's so much of this having to, to put our armor up, you know, because who to trust, Cancer? Who to trust at this time? I'm gonna drink some water really quick. And this is what society feels like to you right now or what seems like you're watching before you. It just keeps happening. And it leaves you feeling like a sense of hopeless, like just hopelessness in this world. Like where is the harmony in it? But maybe if we were to look at it in a different perspective, it is also very much about perspective at this time. To also remember that how others perceive us is actually not who we are. There is nobody in this world who knows you more than you know yourself. There is nobody in this world who knows your heart more than you do. And if we feel that there is no one in this world that we can trust, there is still you that you can trust. And it all starts from having to trust yourself because when we trust ourselves, there's no need to have to find validation or answers on the outside. You already have the answers within yourself this whole time. And just having to be self-aware, there is trust in that also. When we practice on that, when we practice on having to trust ourselves. Who cares if we're being lied to and we're being manipulated and controlled? You don't have to act on others' actions and reactions. You don't have to pick up on that. The only thing that we really need to focus on is your self-awareness and the love and the trust that you have for yourself. When we keep this in mind and reminding ourselves that this is someone who, who we are, we are someone to trust. I trust myself, therefore I trust the world. And if someone is lying to me, they're actually really not lying to me. They're lying to themselves. They're just projecting that onto me, Cancer. It is not about you. It has never been about you. You are doing what you need to do for yourself to make yourself feel good and you're doing it right. Just keep doing what makes you feel absolutely comfortable. Everyone else's reactions and actions are not about you. It's about themselves. And how they perceive you is how they perceive themselves. How they talk to you also is how they talk to themselves. 
if for whatever reason someone is trying to argue with you or even pick a fight with you, it has everything to do with what was going on inside of them. They have this sense of aggravation inside of them and it has nothing to do with you. They may be looking at you thinking like, this is the perfect person to project this onto, right? But it has nothing to do with you. You are one to step into the room to, to balance, to give balance. You're not here to destroy. You're here to bring balance. You're very much in charge of where you're going with your choices, where you're very much in charge on what you choose and, and the words also that you choose. You may be expressing yourself in certain ways and others don't agree to it. Who cares? You do you, you trust you, and that is more and more than enough. when we are in a state of meditation, per se. We are very much in our self-awareness and whatever our self-awareness is telling us in the moment is to follow. This is also our, we are also waking up to our own intuition and what our body is telling us at the same time. So there is no need to seek answers on the outside and there's no need to seek answers from anyone. Remember the only person you, the person you trust is yourself. It would be a dishonor to you if you were to trust others opinions and, and reactions and, and actions more than yourself cancer. That would be a dishonor to you because you're not trusting yourself, but you're trusting them more than you. It all starts with the self and then everything else follows on the outside. It all starts with the self and then everything else after that follows one after another, after another, after another. And so when you're nice cancer, you're also nice to other people. That's all that matters. When you're kind and you speak to yourself in a kind way, you are also speaking to others in a kind way. And that's all that matters. And that's more than enough. When you have the self-compassion for yourself, Cancer, you also have self-compassion for everybody else. That's enough. There's no need to pick up on any other toxic or even unnecessary noise. <laughs> situations or people that does not serve you any justice you know follow what your body is telling you choose wisely always every moment every minute is a choice made by you and by you only your own terms i said this to aries i think i might yes i said this to um, aries also no need to have to take on others' commands or orders, right? Because you're having to go moment to moment, your daily task, doing it in your own terms and not having to do it because someone else is forcing you to do it. No need to pick up on that either because it is not who you are. The world has just become so insensitive and because you are a sensitive person with so much emotions just flourishing and like pouring out of you, in and out of you, always the world can be very confusing. You watching the world, you just stepping back and taking a pause. You know, when you take that pause and you're looking at everybody and you're looking at everything and you have this sense of consciousness the only thing we should be only be really worrying about and being aware about is yourself your reactions, not seeking answers on the outside or from anybody, but letting your body speak to you while putting yourself in a place of trust, always. And then you won't need to do this having to armor up too much because you're, you're in this place of trust now. 
The world is in your in the palm of your hand. You don't need anyone else or force anyone else to to trust you. You don't need anyone else to push people to trust you. You trust yourself and that's enough, right? This full consciousness that you're in right here. Putting our self in a place of trust. We won't need to armor up too much. You, you, you won't need to feel the need to fight back all the time or to be in a battle or debacle. No need for that. That's just going to burden you. And although you may feel this way already, no need to continue on on that. Remember, the choices we make every minute will lead us to a certain circumstance, certain people, certain situations, because you made that choice. And it, this task is not an, an easy task if you don't make it out to be for yourself. And it isn't something that you can buy from anyone else. Like I said, that would be, that would mean that, that would mean to be dishonoring to yourself when you're not putting yourself in a position of trust, self-trust. You're dishonoring yourself too. Do not become a victim to others' actions or reactions to you because it isn't about you. You know where you are always positioning yourself. Look, the light went out again. I give up. <laughs> Do not become a victim to others' actions or reactions to you. It is not about you. Others' way of reacting is their responsibility not yours you are who you are and that if and that is the only thing we should be focusing on that's enough you know you're out here wanting to cooperate participate be in something that will give you more and not less. And stop putting yourself in a position where you feel less than and not letting your insecurities get to you too much. We're digging and digging and digging into our insecurities too much because the outside is pressuring us into thinking that we are less than, but we're not. When we put ourselves in a state of meditation, we are more. Because we see ourselves more. And you are more. You're absolutely more. You're worth more than what you think. And there's so much more to you than you think. Than what others make you out to be at the same time. It's like this. You can be making so much money. Right? But... It's not the same if you feel worthless. You can make, you can have all this money and let's say that you have all this money in front of you and you're just looking at your money just stacked up and you're just looking at it, but you feel worthless inside. It's just the same. The physical and what the physical can bring to you is not enough there's so much more to our body than just what you see on the outside there's so much more to you than what others think of you don't pick up on that pick up on what your body is telling you and the feelings and the emotions that are coming up and remembering that you are so much more and worthy than what you, the world makes you out to be. If you are making money and if you are wealthy and, and that, but 
you have no sense of wealth inside of you, what's the point? What is the point? The world's best way to act is to trust oneself. And there is wealth in that also. So much more than we think. And remember, we are being tested here. Your strength, your ability to take care of others as much as you take care of yourself. If we want to become the hero we want to be, if we want to become the hero we want to be, we must face our own adversity and make something out of that also. What we do for others is exactly what we're doing for ourselves first. You can make so much money and, and have all the money, but it's not the same as having and carrying it within yourself, this sense of worth, this value that you carry with yourself. Stop lying to yourself because you're being influenced by others' reactions and actions about you. It's not about you. What you are already carrying within yourself is so much more worthy than others' opinions. Cancer. Be the light that you already are. No need to valid, no need to find that from other people. You already are. You know what I mean? Thank you for letting me do this reading, Cancer. That might have not been the lightest and brightest reading, but it felt like that was needed. And thank you for letting me do that. I hope that you guys have an amazing Sagittarius season. Take care always. I love you. I'll see you guys in the next one.